Your last mission didn't exactly work out, Tom. Your killing everybody means a lot of problems for us. They tried to rape Sarah. The cops ought to thank me. I know, but the one you let get away will make trouble. What? We didn't let anybody get away. They're all dead. One lived. They pulled him out of the car wreck. Shit. The one you killed was the son of a city councilor, the mayor's friend, and Morello's accomplice. And the one who lived will go crying to the councilor. Daddy didn't exactly love his son, but in these cases, a person can remember a lot of good things. By the way, his funeral's today. Pity I can't make it. You're lucky that second one didn't know who you were and couldn't give you up. But that's not why I sent for you. Tom, I have quite a delicate job for you today. Come on, let's get in the car. Businesses which the Don has invested a lot of money in has suddenly decided to forget his obligation. And he has taken up with Mr. Morello. It seems that Morello is trying to test our limits. We're not going to play his game. So what's going down? We're going to blow the place up. What? What kind of joint is it? A hotel. Yeah. That is, it's a brothel. Huh? But no regular who house. It's a place for classy society types. And I have to knock them all off? Of course not. We'll just liquidate the owner and blow up his office. That should be enough of a warning for the others. We means me, right Frank? I take out the owner and I blow up the hotel. Exactly. And there's one more thing. One of their girls is passing information about our activities to Morello. We'll need her eliminated too. Frank. <laughs> I have to kill a woman? Worse luck, huh? Here's a photo of her. She's cute. And she looks familiar. Are you certain this is her? Unfortunately, yes. Her big mouth has lost us a pile of money and some of our people. Why don't Polly or Sam do it? We know the place in and out. They'd be dead before they can get it together. Mm. So what's the plan? It's downtown, the Corleone Hotel. Find a boss and shoot him. You can do it in public. It'll be a warning. Then take care of the girl. The owner's office is on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and then set up the explosives. You won't have time for much else. This won't be no picnic. I know. But if we don't take care of this now, we are next in line. Maybe you're right. The weapon and explosives are here in the car. Tom, good luck.
one at the time, sweetie.
Michelle. What are you doing? What's going on? What, what are you going to do? What do you want from me? I'm sorry, Michelle, but I heard that a bunch of people got knocked off because of your talk and someone lost a lot of dough. You're dangerous to us. It, it isn't true. It couldn't be true. Tom, wait! I, I didn't know I'd hurt anyone. I, I wanted to help my brother and... I knew it. This could only happen to me, a total screw-up. I can't just kill a young girl. A young naive fool who wanted to help him. her own brother? Probably a real bastard. I just wanted On the to other hand, is he worth getting killed over it? Get dressed and get out. Thank you. This place is gonna blow in a little while. I don't want to see you in this town again. Nobody can see you here anymore. Thank you so very much. In this town, you're dead. Go away and never show your face here again. Get it? I promise. You will never hear about me again. Just regular work. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! 
I'll you. beat the living daylights out of you. Try it with me.
and was taken from us unexpectedly. The Lord awaits his flock with opened arms, and those such as Billy are awaited in the heavenly realm. Billy was a good son, brother, and friend. We will all remember him in that light and pray for his salvation, since he did so much good. And now Billy's friend, who was with him during the last moments of his short life on this earth, would like to say a few words. Come, my son. Thank you, Father. You know, I, I wanted to pay my respects to Bill today and to tell him that I considered him as my own brother, that his death was a great loss for me. Huh? What? Are, I was that present is, at his death. How? And how? That's the one! And that's the bastard who killed Billy! Get him! Carlo! See you in hell. You rat. Don't move! Get down, father! Come down here. I'll throw you a party. We got plenty of time. Oh! Come on down, you big arrow. Show us what you made. Do it, I have a wife and child. Where are you? You wet your pants? Jesus Christ, there's a dead body. Do it, I have a wife No, please, have mercy. Don't kill me. Hey, you little rat, come down here. Oh. Oh. No, please have me. Oh. 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 No, please. Oh. 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 please spare me. No, please have mercy, don't kill me. No, please spare me. No, please have mercy. Don't kill me. Please let me live. No, please spare me. Oh, it is only I. My son, don't shoot. I am unarmed. What have you done, my son? Such suffering for nothing. God is forgiving, but this is terrible. Don't you know murder is the greatest sin? I know, Father. But somehow everything got fouled up. I made a mistake somewhere. So many people have died without reason. They could have done much more with their lives. Father, these people were criminals, cheats, murderers. The one lying in the front wanted to rape my girl. Maybe God wanted it this way. A lot of people will have an easier life because of this. Yes, the Lord works in mysterious ways. But what about you? You can look yourself in the face? Your hands are stained with blood that you'll never wash off. I know that, Father. Look around you. Such a waste. We'll have to consecrate the church again. Everything is shot up. I can't let my parishioners in here. What am I going to do? Maybe this'll help? Pray for my soul, Father. I'll need it. I will, my son. I certainly will. By the way, Father, your little speech about Billy, I'm wondering about your conscience. Billy wasn't such a good person, and he didn't do good when he was alive.
You must be joking, right? How could you get through this? Now it was really bad. Billy's pop, the councilman, wasn't very happy with us. And he was in bed with Morello's. Without the Mafia's help, he wouldn't have got his seat. He also started to mobilize the police. So we now had both the mob and the police against us. Oh, come on. Hey, both sides benefited from it. The police could look good in the fight against crime, and at the same time get fat payoffs from Morello, who they left alone. And with the help of the police, Morello could eliminate his greatest competitor. An ideal situation. And things were going bad for us. Salieri lost a bundle. And I wasn't doing too good after all that killing. It started to seem that there was no point to anything. That I should enjoy everything as much as possible and quickly, while I still had the chance. When it's so easy to lose your life. Maybe that's why Paulie and me started drinking. You weren't falling apart, maybe. My life was just a trail of murders, crimes, and alcohol. If Frank hadn't helped me out, I would have ended up worse. It was weird. But suddenly he came to me and wanted to help. Could you give me a ride home, Tommy? Sure, Frank, get in. So how's life, Tommy? Yeah, going okay. Just... just... Ah, nothing. I heard you and Paulie are living it up. You two are getting pretty well known around town. Just something to do with the money. If you don't want to end up a wreck, Tom, find some meaning in your life. What? You want to preach to me about a sense of life? I've seen a few good guys who couldn't deal with their problems, and they end up real bad. Usually somebody knocks you off for your money, or maybe you go nuts and all your buddies and pretty dames disappear. Anyway, the Don doesn't want drunks with trembling hands working for him. Those kind of people just bring problems. If you don't watch out, the next thing you know, your best friend kills you without blinking an eye. What should I do, then? Come on, be yourself. Maybe invest the dough in some kind of investment. I could give you a few tips. Give up the party and go to the races with the Don on Sundays. Try taking a dame to the theater or at least the movies. There's a lot of things you can do. And who should I take, Frank? A decent girl doesn't want to kill her. You know, a policeman will murder to uphold the law. You enforce our laws. It's the same thing, we're just on the other side of the fence. You're not a murderer, Tom. But still, your wife mustn't interfere with your business. Remember, never take the job home, it just brings trouble. And where would I find a woman for me, Frank? I thought that you had something with Luigi's daughter, Sarah. I think she's a wonderful girl. But you alone know best how far it'll go with her. I'm not going to endanger somebody like Sarah, Frank. One day, Frank asked me to stop by the bar. He said he had a little job for me, so of course I showed up. Tom, we got two trucks full of the best liquor coming in from Canada. Sam's gone out to the handoff point to meet him. They're in an old farm outside of town and we need to get the shipment to the city. I'm sending two trucks out. Paulie's going with one of them. I want you to go with them and keep an eye over everything. Just to make sure it all goes smoothly. Get a call from Ralphie and join up with Paulie over at our warehouse. Paulie will give you some weapons when you get there. Okay, Frank. What have you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have he here a new machine for you. It has 65 horsepower, and if you put your foot down, it'll go over 75 miles per hour. The 
they, they, they put a new lock on it, but it ain't no problem. Hey, watch. See? It's, it's, it's real easy. You can take this car or something older. Whatever you want. Thanks, Ralphie. What did, do you need?
Hey, Tommy. We're going to a farm outside of town to pick up a couple of truckloads of good booze. We wanted you with us in case of any trouble, but it should be real easy. We don't really have to do nothing. Just be there. The boys will load up the trucks and we'll come back. Sam's already there waiting for us, so probably be drinking most of it before we even get there. I'll do the driving. Cops have been paid off, so there's nothing to worry about. Looks like I could have just stayed home and slept. Hey, if I gotta be up, you gotta be up. <laughs> Let's go. Countryside, stress. You know, we ought to do this more often. Better in the daytime. <laughs> I think you'd rather be with Luigi's little girl. Sarah, right? That's your night shift. <laughs> Lay off. What do you know about it? Same way as everybody else knows. Heck, even Luigi knows you're chasing her. I figure you ain't too bad. Save the virginity after all. <laughs> but I bet you stole her right back, huh? Shut up, Paulie. I didn't know you were there. Nah, come on, Tom. I'm kidding. She's a good girl. You're good for each other. I ain't so sure. Uh, somehow I can't imagine coming home and saying, Guess what, Sarah? I had a hell of a day at work today. I had to kill ten people. You can't talk about stuff like that at home. If you don't act like the way they describe you in the papers, and you're good to her, just ignore all that crap. Hey, <laughs> she's loaded. So it seems normal to you to hide who you really are from your own wife your whole life. Don't worry so much. Damn it. What's going on? Sam should be waiting here, but he isn't. He smells fishy. Look, we'll wait here with the trucks. You go quietly, check out what's going on. Thanks for the confidence. Here's some toys to take with you. Jesus! Hey, a friend. He's fallen sick. Who are you? Are you from the police? Yeah, Mr. Morello and the sheriff would like to send their regards and inform you that from this point on, they'll be taking over your duties here. <laughs>
They're all dead! What? Truck crew. Out there in the back. They wasted them. What? What about Sam? You see him? No, I didn't see him. But the barn was locked. He might be in there. We ain't leaving without him. We have to go back and get him. Okay, we'll go back. But we gotta find a crowbar or something so we can break open that barn door. Okay, let's go. You boys stay here for now and watch the trucks. Waste anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Besides us, of course. Okay, boss. It was a massacre. This is one hell of a night. It looks like they want to get us completely out of the picture. Yeah? Well, that ain't gonna be so easy. Is Sam okay upstairs? Yeah, he's okay. At least he isn't any worse. Okay, I'll get him. You keep watch here. 
Sam, it's me, Paulie. Come on, we're going home. Oh, <laughs> we're going to the doctor. I ain't feeling so good. He must be coming down with something. Hmm, I guess so. Your nose is running a little. Ah. Sam, I'll put you in the back. Tom will be with you, just in case. Okay. Tom, go with him. Keep an eye out. He's a Thompson if you need it. Got it. Holly, it looks like we got more company. There's a Thompson and some ammo back there. Get behind those crates and watch out. Fire as soon as they get behind us. Make sure they don't get past us. We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident and we need your help. Okay, where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. The Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, he'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. At least that's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one.
Ah, Tommy, you come like a gift from heaven. A stoolie just called me and said that the cops want to pick one of my friends up. Hey, we gotta let him know as fast as possible. He lives in a house in Hoboken. Could you go and warn him? Okay, Lucas. What is it? What do you want this time of night? Lucas Bertoni sent me. He got to disappear. I should be here any minute. Shit. Thank Lucas for me. And you too, of course. I better go out the back so no one sees me. Goodbye. Good luck.
So, what? Fine, went well. He thanked you and then quickly disappeared. Oh, thank God. Hey, I have a reward for you, Tommy. Hey, this is totally new. It's a little different than his other cars. It's the first line of cars with an aerodynamic form. Yeah, hey, they look pretty sharp to me, but many people don't like them. Yeah, the main thing is that it purrs like a kitten, yeah. And you can snag one easy. You just stick this wire in here, boom, that's it. One guy who lives in Oakwood has the same model. He parks it in front of the garage next to his house, eh? Great, thanks. 